So we're here at Don's house today. We've got several projects to accomplish. The first one, we're gonna load up some junk and some excess pea gravel and try to get that hauled off to the dump. Good morning, Don. Good morning. What do you got for us today? We need to get rid of all the old stuff first before we start leveling and okay and doing the final stuff. So, so the question is, do we want to put some of the dirt in first so we don't scratch up the uh, the trailer? Yeah, we could do that. That might be a good thing, kind of just a yeah, just a low a buffer to yeah. Check this out, Christy. You'll notice in the early part of this episode, I didn't have the ROPS up. It's been a long winter. I guess I was out of practice. A little later, I get ready to perform a maneuver that might be just a little bit tipsy. And at that point, I realize, oh, got to put the ROPS up. I'm sure it's like that for everybody. There's a lot of different things to think about when you're on a project like this. Now, of course, when you're watching the video on YouTube, you can see all those mistakes. I also forgot my ISOTUNES audio hearing protection. I wear them almost all the time, so I was really disappointed when I reached down to grab them and they weren't there. If you haven't ordered yours yet, get them at isotunesaudio.com. Use coupon code TTWT for $10 off every pair you order. I'm afraid it's going to be pretty muddy for us. Yeah. Some of this dirt pile was decent soil, and Donnie wanted to save it, but a lot of the rest of it had river rock in it. So we were trying to separate out the good from the bad, and just haul away the bad. I don't think I'm able to get as big a bucket full. The bucket is heavier than the standard bucket. So I don't think I can get quite as much material in each load. So Donnie, what did you do here? You We had a wooden swing set that was taken out a long time ago, but the six tons of river gravel was here. Plan one when we took the, the deck down was all the dirt we took out for the pavers replaced the area where the gravel was, and I just pushed the gravel backwards. I figured I wouldn't be able to grow any grass in river gravel. So. No, not a whole lot. Any exercise, Kristen? Yeah. I'm having a run to keep up with you. <laughs> Not fun. I don't know what I'm doing at all here. It may not seem like much, but it's pretty heavy. I'm not putting it over the side because I've got 
better control when I put it in like this. I don't have to drop it very far. Also, I was able to put that layer of dirt and rock down there so I don't scratch up the bottom of the bed with this real heavy concrete. With this, I can drive it right up in there and set it right where I want it, just taking a little bit better care of the trailer. We won't get a full load here because we're so heavy, right, with this type of stuff, but if we had a full load, I would probably still load it like this to load the front half full, and then just, once I put the tailgate up, start loading over the side for the rear. I think that's how I would do it. I mean, loading from the rear is working pretty well. Yeah, I mean, maybe you can try to just tilt them back there. Christy, a grapple would have been much nicer for this, yeah. I guess I've got a grapple, though, here. I've got Don working with me. Boy, it's just too wet for this. I had a feeling it was still too wet. Let me experiment here a little bit. I got a new tool. I don't know what it'll do yet. I don't have very many, do I? Well, Christy, first impression, I wish I had my grapple. has a lot of versatility, no question about that, but it's just not quite exactly what I need for picking up this concrete. I think you're going to have to help me, Don. I just have the wrong tool for the job. He's got wood boards you could put down to make sort of a road. <clears throat> oh, to make a road in there. Right, with those big yeah, we up. could do that. So, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Footers, so. Yeah, that's a good idea. Boy, these are in good shape. They're gonna be like greens flower bed or a vegetable garden. Oh, okay. Yeah, with my grapple, Christy, I could have just reached in there and grabbed. I'm just yeah. not able to grab with that bucket like that. I thought I could. Maybe it's the material, too, that makes yeah. it more difficult. Could be. I think if I got sideways, I can grab these round ones, but kind of one at a time. I don't know if I'm using it wrong. Maybe I have a, just the wrong mentality. I don't know. I don't get you much. You had some of it. Yeah, I know, but not enough to take a trip. Uh. Maybe I just don't know how to use it, Don. It's a brand new tool, this four in one bucket. It's brand new. Yeah, if it was a piece of rebar. Oh, okay. Two of that. From a weight standpoint, I can handle two. Whether we can get two to sit in there. Here, if you'll just brace it, I'll lean it back. Oh, that's fine. So it just doesn't want to open up to grab it? I just can't figure out how to make it grab a meaningful load. I could grab one of those one at a time and get them out of here, 
but, but one I don't, at a time. Is I don't have time for one at a time. Just kind of brace it while I tip it back. Let's just load it up. Don will not charge you full price for this. This is ridiculous. I, I had the right tool at home and I thought this thing would be just the right combination, so. Yeah, you thought it would be a great bucket and grapple. And be that was the selling point. That was what they told you? Well, I mean, that's the whole idea. See, that's not, you can't get long stuff on there very well. Well, on anything. It is, isn't it? This said all the papers and uh, two tons of sand. If we can get it on the bucket, I'll just go over the top. Okay. Stay back when I come off these logs. It's longer than 16 feet. Because I have to get my gate shut. Okay, bring it toward me. Are you inside? Donnie decided he could uh, he's gonna take his chainsaw and just cut the end off so it doesn't hang over. If that doesn't pinch his chainsaw. That way we could still put up our tarp. This might be a way to get things done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Donnie's about to slide off. But it's not my way. Yeah. I do not like this. This will fit like that. So is that better than worse than just picking just, just them up and carrying them? I yeah. think Donnie's worn out. Yeah, I'm working him hard. I'm just frustrated because I thought this tool would be fabulous. And it's not good for this job. I'm sure it's great for some other jobs. A bunch of people commenting are gonna say, yeah, well, yeah, you used it for the wrong application, but it's what I had today, you know? And it was what you would have if you buy this instead of a grapple. Not many people are gonna be able to afford both a four-in-one and a grapple.
think this is about all I want to put on the trailer. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that the four-in-one bucket didn't work quite like I had hoped it would. And I regret that I didn't bring my grapple and a regular bucket. So I saw two disadvantages. Number one, the bucket's a good bit heavier, and so I wasn't able to get a very big load of material over the edge of the truck. And that's in addition to the obvious that I wasn't able to pick up the, the trash, that you know, the concrete, uh, just get in there and grab with both of those grapples like I've done uh, on many other projects. So I'm not sold. There's one thing I am sold on, though. What's that? That's that trailer. Oh my goodness, so many ways to fill that thing. Yeah, you can it's... drive in, you can dump it over, it holds. Like those boards you got in there are really long. So yeah, it's, the, it's, the trailer is the star of the day. It the really is. one bucket. Hmm. It, works, uh, it works incredible. Yeah, um, now we get to go dump it and just by pushing a button. Yeah. We'll raise the uh, gate here first, Christy, and then see if we can get the tarp up. How was that? That was pretty cool. We drove over the scales at the dump there at a gross weight of 25,380. The payload was just less than 11,000 pounds. Doesn't look like a very big pile of stuff for 11,000 pounds, does it? Okay, I've got a good bit more lift lift height. I think I'll raise it some more. Um, okay, I'll will raise it, go it up higher. Any higher or is that it? Oh, it'll go up a lot higher. to pull up a little bit. It's got hung up on each other. Yep. Just looking as I go here. I really like that it dumps very steeply and that it has a smooth one-piece bottom. How are we doing? There's a little bit stuck in it. This is where I drove the tractor up there. Well, I think it might find that one big point. Yeah, the concrete up there is caught on the D-ring. It was muddy, and then this is where I packed it down with the tractor wheels. All I can say is that every bit of extra dump angle is very helpful. I'm going to drive up another six inches and dump all that. Are we done? Pretty much. I would say that's good enough. Why don't we show you this, folks? You might think, uh, this didn't dump very good, you know, it didn't work perfectly. I'd say just the opposite. This is the real world. You know, you put that mixture of stuff in here, it's just not going to dump real easy. And well. This shows why you need to focus on the dump angle that the trailer has. This one I believe is 47 degrees. Not many of them will go up over 45 and that last five degrees makes a lot of difference. So a project that didn't go so well on site as we showed you, looks good here at the dump. Actually, this would have been an enormous amount of work to unload. And uh, if you'd got your dump trailer dumped all the way up and nothing came out, that is a humiliating feeling. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim.
You know, we put that WD-40 on these the other day. You can tell it's all dry now, no oilies, but boy, it sure does move smoother. So it really did work.